Perhaps the most daunting aspect of a systematic review is documenting your accountability of where and how you searched and then how you narrowed down all of the articles only to those that met your inclusion criteria. So the first step is to do enough background research so that you have a general idea of what you might find. And then the next part is to do the actual searches based upon that background research. So I'm going to use EndNote as a bridge that helps get from the beginning of a search where I had 12,000 references and I excluded these and I searched here and came all the way down and ended up with four that met my inclusion criteria. There's a lot of intermediate steps that you don't have to make up. You should never make them up. Uh, but it can be really daunting when you're trying to combine references from different uh, uh, databases. So what I did here is I opened up a systematic search tutorial completely empty library. This is different than any of my other libraries. And I'll show you with a couple of databases how you can use this to narrow down your article field. So I'll come on over here into CINAHL. And on the EBSCOhost platform, you can search multiple databases at the same time. Since I'm going to be going through and doing a couple of searches, my preference is to search CINAHL by itself and then search Academic Search Premier by itself and then maybe another one by itself because I do have a couple of searches in this general area. So I'll start out with my search health coaching and hypertension. And for now, I'm not going to add any other um, information. One of the limiting factors here is scholarly peer reviewed. I'll be able to sort that out later, I think. The other is full text available, something to be aware of. Full text might not be available in CINAHL, but it might be available in some other database. So I don't want to exclude anything here just because I don't have full text. Full text comes a little further down the search, uh, search pathway. So for now, health coaching and hypertension CINAHL search. And I have 26 references. So some of these 26 references might be overviews. Here's a randomized control trial with one year follow up. Some of them might end up meeting my inclusion criteria, which is really exciting. And some of them might be good, other good references. So what I'll do here is I want to take these 26 references and I want to get them over into EndNote. So if I click on share here and I come down, email a link to downloaded exported results. Click on this. And then what I'll do is I'll fill in my university email address and I'll fill in my subjects in all health coaching and hypertension. That tells me what's on this reference list. So once I've done that, I'm going to hit pause here because it takes a little bit of time for it to go through um, cyberspace. But before you send it, send the references in RIS format. This will be important. And we're back. And so now I've received an email um, that gives me the export of my search results and I'll double click on this, it will download a zip file. Once I have my zip file, I can double click on that to open it and then extract this file. So it, this takes me right into my downloads folders. I'm gonna double click on this again and it will import my 26 references into EndNote. Then I'm going to take my 26 references and make them a group. Add references to create custom group. New group, rename, health coaching and hypertension synol. All right, so that's where those came from. So now I've got my 26 references here. My next search term, I'm going to go back into the library and I'm going to look up health coaching and high blood pressure. So health coaching and hypertension. I'm going to change here to, let's just change for blood pressure and see what happens. Health coaching and blood pressure. New search. 44. So this introduces something potentially interesting. I didn't get way too many articles in just looking at blood pressure. So there may be interventions that measure improvements in blood pressure that are not specifically patients with hypertension. So that's potentially interesting. Health coaching and blood pressure. I'm going to click on share here and email a link to these 44 results. Same sort of thing. I'm going to hit pause here. We'll see you in a moment. So here is the email with the second set of search results. Again, I'm going to double click on the zip file. 
this will come into its own little space in my downloads folder and this is important you're going to end up having a lot of different zip files in your downloads folder make sure that you click on the right one when you're importing them so you don't go back and just keep re-importing the same reference sites for now again I'll double click on this I think I just triple clicked I don't think that will happen and these should come into my editor folder Okay, so here are my imported references. I have 44 of them, and I've got all references are 70. So what I'll do with this group is make a little subgroup. And selecting all of them here, and I'll add references to create custom group. And the new group will be renamed health coaching and blood pressure. All right. Health coaching, blood pressure, and so on. I've got 70 references so far. Let's pop back on over again into my search, and I'll have one more search here, two more searches actually. I'll now search for motivational interviewing. Motivational interviewing. And hypertension. See what this search turns up. 36 articles. So interestingly enough, health coaching might not show up here, but the term motivational interviewing is going to be important. So again, I'm going to share this with my own library. Email this link of 36 citations to myself, and this will be um, MI and hypertension. Uh, same sort of thing end note and send this to myself. So again, hit pause while this works its magic. So now I have the email with these results. So I'll double click on this and again import it into EndNote. Double click on the zip file and double click on my search. And this again will come in as an imported group and every time it's going to just give us the most recent imported. Now I want to do one more thing. There's a little time elapsed here. I want to pop over here and make sure that I'm documenting the correct terms. Motivational interviewing and hypertension. Check. Okay, so let's come over here and I will make this group its own special something here. It's going to let me. There we go. Add references to create custom group. This new group is going to be renamed MI and hypertension synol. And then I have that. Now I go back into the library again and do the same thing motivational interviewing and blood pressure. So same thing, 53 references. So same process to come up with my fourth group. Email the link and MI and BP. Same sort of thing. Make sure again that you click on the EndNote um, email link with citations. So I won't bore you with all of this. I'll pull these in and be back in a moment. Now that I've got the results of my four searches here, what I can do is I can document them in a Word document or in Excel if you're taking notes, just to make sure that I'm tracking where I now have, I searched CINAHL and I got 159 references. But because I use different search terms in CINAHL, I want to make sure that I document where these references came from. So I'll open up a little table here in Word. And let's see, I got my search strategy here. I've got health coaching and hypertension. That's my first health coaching and blood pressure. So health coaching and hypertension was 26. Blood pressure were 44 results. So 26 and 44. And then pop back on over again and say I've got with hypertension 36 with blood pressure 53. So 36 and 53. Now what I'll do is I will keep going and I will add additional databases to this 
so that I then have a large pool of articles and after that I can narrow down. So at this point, I, it's a delicate operation. I'm going to hit pause and I will search um, Academic Search Premier and add to this list and be right back in EndNote in a few minutes. Now I've completed my search of CINAHL, Medline, and Academic Search Premier using the EBSCO host database. I created a group for each of my citation groups as they came in so that I know where I found them. Right now I've got 784 potential citations. I have not applied any inclusion criteria yet, so you'll see if we look right here there's an awful lot of duplicates. So in the next video what I will do is I will start to narrow down using um, the uh, various features of eliminating duplicates and also looking at language and what you want to make sure you do is once you get to this point and you know you've searched every single database you want to make sure that you document this in a Word document. So the last little snippet we'll look at here is that I just opened up a Word document and I wrote down where I searched, I wrote down the search terms that I used, and I wrote down the number of results that I got in each database. The reason this is important is you may want to um, separate out right now I'm searching health coaching and motivational interviewing you may want to separate out um, you, how you report with I found this many articles on health coaching this many articles on motivational interviewing and or this many specifically talking about hypertension or this many talking about blood pressure so when I have these results here I can add them up and combine them in different ways to add a little bit more accountability in my search